that up ahead? It is like the light up at the surface. Do you think it's another trap? Oh, where is it going? Come back, little orb. We have questions for you. Well, this looks promising, doesn't it? Still there? Oh, there you are. Don't go disappearing on this one, yes? Traveler, a moment of your time, please. Let us speak. This place is unbelievable. It must be what Udasi was looking for. It is beyond anything Makara could ever have imagined. A forge? But for what? Hmm. What is this? Makara's cat's eye amethyst. It is glowing. You don't still have Udasi's ore, do you? Hmm. Good. Here, take Makara's amethyst and go to the forge. If she is right, you... Well, she does not know. Be ready for anything, yes? How did it go? Show Makara what you crafted. That armor... The ore and the gem made that? Then... Udasi was right all along. This armor, it is a tool of Gegrenek. Armor of legend. Used to usher the tribunal of the Chimer to Godhood. Udasi was right. And he died before he ever got to see it. Do you think? It is perhaps a bit selfish, but to Makara, this armor is less about its history or power and more a reminder to her. It is her brother's legacy, something which he gave his life to achieve. She hopes he would be proud that she took the final steps on his journey. Gajit will never know for certain, but she hopes. Come, let us leave this place. And... thank you. Wait... that sound... 
Udasi? Udasi, is that... <laughs> Rest well, brother. Goodbye. That was him, wasn't it? That was Udasi. Then, he made it here after all. Hmm. It is strange. We had not spoken to each other for months, and yet somehow, at the end of it, we both ended up here. Perhaps there was something to those artifacts after all. Or perhaps it was just... Us. Hmm. Yes. And... Traveler, again? This one cannot express to you how grateful she is for everything you have done. How grateful she is for... You. Yes? Kajit feels certain she has said it before, but it bears repeating. You are something special. Something the likes of which is all too rare in this world. The twin moons shone brightly the day they brought you across Makara's path, and... So... For as long as you see fit, she will happily remain at your side. Thank you... For everything. Nakara sees that amulet you are wearing. She understands in Skyrim, it is a way of showing others interest in... marriage. Are you...? Interested? That is a bit presumptuous of you, isn't it? But... After all you have done for Makara... After being at your side on the road... After seeing who you truly are... Yes, she is... interested. This one will look forward to it with all her heart. Ah, here's the proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learn that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? Makara does. May the Mother Cat's grace shine down on us for the rest of our days. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. And so we are mated. Hmm. You look wonderful. Where do we go from here? It sounds wonderful. Makara will head there now.